What's up guys? I am here with some Ultra Street Fighter 4. So I got this idea from Brian F. He uploaded a video where he did a speed run of Balrog's combo trials in Ultra Street Fighter 4, trying to get the world record. I'll link his video down in the description. But I love this idea so much, I thought it would be fun to do it for Chun-Li, who was my main character for most of the life of Street Fighter 4. The catch is there wasn't actually an existing run on speedrun.com for Chun. No one had done the character yet. So I got to set it whatever I want, whatever was the fastest run I could get. So I grinded for a really long time until I got a time that I thought was pretty satisfactory. So what's gonna be in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the techniques and tricks that I used to achieve the time that I did. I'm gonna show you the entire unedited run if that's what you wanna see. And then I'm gonna show you some time saves that I think could be applied if someone else wanted to beat my time. There are lots of ways to do it. There is a ton of time to be saved. So I'm gonna leave the door open if someone else wants to swoop in and take first place on the leaderboard. I would really love that because that would motivate me to put in a better run to try to get it back. So guys, if you like this type of content, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'm really trying to get over that 200,000 hump. And uh, if you could leave a comment, let me know what character you'd like to see me speed run next. I had absolutely a blast doing this and I would love to do it more. Uh, but right now, we're gonna get into some of the techniques that I use, some of the tricks that you can use with Chun to do her trials quickly. And uh, we're gonna switch to the patented hand cam. Check this out, it's been a long time since I've brought in the hand cam, but there's some pretty intricate stuff here that I wanna show you. So I thought changing up the angle might help a lot. So the first thing I wanna talk about is lightning legs. So lightning legs is a big part of Chun-Li's trials, and it works in a pretty interesting way in Street Fighter IV. The way that it works is the fifth input. If you hit a kick button five times, the fifth input will trigger lightning legs. And what button is pressed on the fifth input will determine what strength. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, like that, it's gonna be light, because the fifth input was light. But if I do one, two, three, four, five, where the fifth input is two kicks, that's gonna give you EX lightning legs. So this is really important. A lot of tricks that you're gonna need to do for Chun-Li's trials are gonna involve pianoing. So you can see if you do this, you get three kicks very quickly. So you can do stuff like this. To do heavy kick into EX legs, you do one, two, three, four, five. So that's how you get that. But for this trial that we're looking at here, what you actually need to do is launch them with back medium kick, medium kick, and then do raw EX legs. So we're buffering in one, two, three, four, five, that EX legs input. We're buffering that in during the back medium kick, medium kick animation. And then you can go into ultra after that. So that's how you do this one. And here's one where you're going to incorporate the uh, kick attacks into a dash animation. So you can see that that quick lightning legs input, I'm buffering it inside the uh, focus dash, like that. So that's how this one works. So this trial right here, trial 21, I would consider to be maybe the hardest trial that Chun has. And it's very high stakes because it ends in a super. So if you mess this up and Dan blocks the super, you're gonna be sitting there watching the animation for a long time. You're just gonna lose a ton of time. And this one also involves a light lightning legs. So what we do here is jumping heavy kick, crouching medium kick, light lightning legs. So what I'm doing here is crouching medium kick and I'm plinking that with light kick. So there's two kick inputs. And then I piano heavy to light. So there's three more. So that makes five. And since light is the fifth hit, that is gonna trigger light lightning legs, which you can link off of, but it is pretty tricky. So there you can see, you can link off of the light lightning legs into the crouching medium kick, into the super, very high stakes. You do not wanna mess that one up or else you lose a ton of time. Speaking of saving time, there were a couple minor time saves that I found where like, if you whiff a lot of hits of the super, that saves a lot of time because there's no hit stop from the multiple kicks connecting. And then landing her ultra as well. You can see if you do her ultra normally, this is a really, really long animation. This is gonna eat a ton of time. So wherever possible, I tried to find ways to avoid that whole animation playing. So for example, when it's just raw ultra, the best way I found was launching them first with back medium kick, medium kick, and you can see there's no full animation and you save an absolute ton of time. But I think this might be able to be optimized even further, but I'm gonna talk about that after I show you the run. We're gonna play my whole run right now, so check that out.
I don't really have a target time. As low as I can get it. Too low. Nope. Okay. I think we could easily cut 15 seconds off my PB. If we don't drop too much. The drops are really what's killing me. The drops on the super combos. This is not a hard combo. Yikes. Well, we can still make it up. <laughs> if we don't drop later, but that's that's very yikes. Corner only. Oh wait, no, not corner only. I was reading too far ahead. This next one's corner only. Nine and a backdash. I'm gonna try that here too. N wow, nine and neutral jump works. That that saves time. Okay. If I mess up this next one, I'm just going to restart. Because <laughs> we've had too many drops already. Yeah, we messed up. I, I mean, that could have been worse. So I guess I'll keep going and see if we can do the, the run killers. Yeah, we can do nine and a neutral jump on that, too. Wait, is that possible mid-screen? Remind me to test that. I don't think it is, but maybe it is. First try. Sick. And now let's first try this next one, too. Yep. All right, run killer. First try, okay. All right, run killer number two, let's go. First try. We might be onto something here. Now let's just first try this next one. First try! Whew. First try, guys. Is this a legendary run? All right, last one. First try. Okay, wait. 
It's not sub 530. But guys, what a run! <laughs> what a run! Man, it sucks that I, I could have got sub 530 if I nailed light kick, light punch, heavy punch. I fir I've first tried that link so many times. Um, number uh, number eight. I first tried that one like maybe 75% of the time. So not getting that hurts, but that was a killer run, dude. 16 seconds saved. Okay, so that was my run. Uh, that is currently sitting at number one on the leaderboards, but I think there is just a ton of time to be saved. Maybe like 30 seconds to even a minute. Obviously, I made some drops, so that's going to add a lot of time. Uh, but there were also some techniques I found after I got the run that could definitely save time as well. For example, this combo here, I thought this was only possible in the corner, but it turns out it's not. If you do a very brief micro walk, you can see you hold down to charge down, and then you can very, very briefly walk forward before doing spinning bird. And I believe you can actually do this to make this work mid-screen, but it is very, very hard. See, there we go. I got the micro walk there. So not having to push them into the corner saves an absolute ton of time. And a definite other way that time could be saved is any combo into her Ultra 1. You can see what I did in the, in the run was... I jumped over them to get out of the corner because if you're in the corner, a lot of times you get the full ultra animation. But you can see what I did right there was I juggled Dan perfectly so that we didn't actually get the animation. I haven't really figured out a way to get this consistent. A lot of times when I do this, you'll see here, I think I'm going to get the full animation here. Yeah, and that just loses you a ton of time. So I didn't want to risk it. But if someone could figure out a way to 100% of the time not get the corner animation, that would also save a lot of time. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I really, like I said, had a blast doing this. I thought it was so fun. And uh, I would love if someone would come in and beat my time. To be honest, that would be really hype. I just think it's cool that uh, these two communities are intersecting, the fighting game community and the speedrunning community. I've been a fan of watching speedruns and marathons and stuff for a long time. So being able to actually participate myself has me really excited. So someone come in, beat my time, and then I might have to revisit this and try to optimize my channel a little bit more and uh, get back on number one. And once again, please let me know down in the comments what character would you like to see me try next. And with that, we're gonna end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.